Hello, and welcome to the CCNA Routing and Switching course offered by Simply Learn. The last lesson focused on an introduction to routing concepts and configuration. This lesson focuses on how to manage Cisco devices. Let us begin with the objectives of the lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe the basics of Cisco hardware devices, configure a change in boot order, activate iOS licensing, discuss the concept of remote access, verify remote access to a Cisco device, perform local database authentication. In this course so far, we have discussed software processing. Let us look into Cisco hardware. A Cisco device has components similar to other types of electronic devices. It has a Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter, UART, which controls the AUX and console ports. There may be one or two Universal Serial Bus USB ports, which may be used as flash memory. For a switch, an application-specific integrated circuit, ASIC, controls the flow of data between memory, a CPU, and an interface. Now let us look at the memory components. Read-only memory, ROM, stores the power on self test post rom monitor rom on and bootstrap random access memory ram stores dynamic information such as the routing table running configuration arp cache and buffers compact flash and flash stores the cisco internetwork operating system ios non volatile ram and vram holds the configuration file and the configuration register in the next slide, let us discuss basics of Cisco device. A new switch can provide basic switching capabilities with no configuration. However, a router requires configuration. Until an IP address is configured, a console connection is required to access a Cisco device. In the following slide, let us discuss a console port. A Cisco console port requires a rollover cable with an RJ45 connector. A rollover cable pinouts are 1 through 8 on one side and 8 through 1 on the other. To connect to the console port from a PC, a serial connection with a DB9 connector is used. To access the serial port, use a terminal application on the PC. The serial settings are displayed on screen. Take some time to study it. Let us look at some other types of ports on Cisco devices in the next slide. AUX port was designed for modem access, which is not used often anymore. Not all Cisco devices have an AUX port. Let us now discuss an Ethernet port in the following slide. 